This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a website, a domain, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace and use the discount code Andrew Marr. This is quite something. We've got some cloud coming in to this valley. Pretty much we're looking at a cloud inversion. And I just camped uh, just a little way uh, down, the, uh, down the road here, not too far away. And I'm just checking to see whether we had the right conditions here, and we certainly do. Now the challenge is to try and find a composition, which might not be that easy. Oh, it's cold. I miss this shot. So we've actually got a fair amount of, of fog, more than what I was expecting. We're about uh, two or three minutes away from sunrise. So um, I'm looking forward to that because that might add a little bit of color, a little bit of extra light, a little bit of depth and dynamic to the, uh, to the scene. But the, the fog, the cloud is constantly moving. I was originally shooting a, a composition out here where I had a little, what looked like a little island, but it was obviously the top of a mountain with some trees at the top. Uh, and as soon as I set up for the shot, it pretty much started to disappear as the fog rolled in in that area. So then I found this interesting little area uh, just on the left-hand side where I'm pointed the camera at the moment, where the fog is rolling down the hill into, into the valley. And every now and then it exposes certain parts of the trees which are on the side of the hill. So I'm just getting right in nice and close. So I've got the... 70 to 200 on the Nikon D850. Yep, I've still got the Nikon D850. And the reason why I do is it's the only camera that I actually have any kind of long, uh, long zoom lens. So I'm in pretty much at 135, honed in on that little area and it's just changing all the time. If it, even as I'm speaking now, um, the composition is changing and the, the fog is moving and rolling over. So as the sun hasn't come up just yet, it's reasonably dark, but what I'm photographing is predominantly white. So my ISO is at 64 and my shutter speed is around about 1 80th of a second. Sometimes I vary that as I vary the aperture and I've got the aperture quite, quite wide uh, just to, to, uh, to get as much light in as possible. So anywhere between uh, 2.8 and I've shot a couple of shots at uh, 4 and uh, 5.6 I think as well but it is, it is beautiful. Just as the light, or just as the sun, I think is just starting to come up, I can see a little bit of color um, over on my right. There's a little peak of fog that is, is just catching a little bit of light. So I think it's time to put the drone up.
the cloud is actually closed in and it's actually rising as well so a lot of the land features are being are being blocked out so what i've been doing with the drone is i've been spending my time actually on the other side of the hill which is on the left hand side of this little valley uh, which is where the sun has come up and i'm getting some nice little contrasted areas of the sun as it comes through the cloud and hits some of the pine trees and they're coming up really nice and green with a little tinge of orange as well with the with the cloud and fog uh, around them. So I'm going to continue doing that for just a few more minutes. Before we get to the next image, I just want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. No matter what level you're at with your photography, a website is a fantastic tool to help you grow, both as a photographer as well as a business. And Squarespace has got to be the easiest platform for building amazing looking websites that I've come across and I've been using them for years. The way that the templates are designed, they make your images stand out without you having to do anything. Just upload them, no need for any code. And you can start building an audience by just adding a blog. And in just a few clicks, you can be ready to be publishing posts about your own photography journey. Your website can also be extended with an online store that integrates easily with payment gateways. So the process of selling a product or even a service is made really easy. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. That'll give you heaps of time to set up your website. And when you're ready to launch, make sure you go to squarespace.com forward slash Andrew Ma to get 10% off your first purchase. Tell you what, this uh, this cloud and fog moves around. It's it's almost like a liquid, and I thought it was moving through, but it seems to be swirling around. Because even if I look out here, I've got I can see some of the fog moving in one direction. I can see some of the fog moving in the other other direction. We've got a slight uh, wind, a slight breeze uh, that must be moving it around. But I think within the valley. It's, it's swirling, if anything. It's, it's a bit hard to predict. I've had a bit more of an explore around. I hopped, hopped in the car and I, I drove around one side of this valley. And um, unfortunately the roads kind of take you down and deep into the valley. And so therefore there's way too much uh, fog around and everything's really dark and, and gloomy. Uh, and then I took off in another direction where I thought there'd be some really nice um, effect with the light coming through the fog but all the fog has cleared in, in that area so I've come back to this same this same valley and the fog is starting to uh, burn off and there's a lot less of it and so therefore more of the trees and uh, some of the land features are starting to uh, to appear through the uh, through the cloud inversion so decided to come back here and just line up a couple more couple more shots you should be able to see just um, off to your left in frame there you can see this little area that I'm currently uh, pointing the camera at and you can see the cloud moving through there's a few trees over there that are just uh, just starting to appear so that's what I'm waiting for I'm just waiting patiently for the uh, for the cloud to move around and for the compositions to almost just just appear for me. It's, uh, it's a beautiful morning. A lot of the fog has started to burn off and the sun is getting pretty high so the light's getting a little harsher. 
I've had a wonderful time out here, but I need a coffee. So I'm gonna head on into town, grab a coffee and maybe some breakfast and then head home from there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like if you did, if you enjoyed any of the images that I took. Hope you get a chance to get out real soon and take some of your own landscape photography. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.